देकर हमें बताया हम देव कर्म से बने देवता तुमसे हमने जाने हर दिल गाता ब्रह्मा बाबा तेरे अमर कहाने जगत पिता को छोटे से कमरे में मिलते देखा कुटिया में ब्रह्मा को बैठे भाग्य लिखते देखा साथ बीते दिन वो प्यारे वो जमाना याद है दिल की बस्ती इन सुनहरी यादों से आबाद है याद है मधुबन का आंगन वो बच्चे बच्चे बोलना दृष्टि से सृष्टि बदलना झूले झुलाना झूलना वो झूले झुलाना झूलना मीठे मुरले का सुनाना अमृत रस का घोलना प्रभु प्रेम के हिंडोले में हम बच्चों का डोलना एक अलौकिक सुख पाए हम बन दे अभिमानी याद रखेंगे गुजरा हुआ जमाना वो दिन सुहेज वाले हाथों से वह खिलाना बच्चों को गोद में ले अशरीरी वो बनाना वह खेल ना खिलाना वो सैर कराना हमने देखा भागीरथ को विनम्र मूर्ति महान को आया था जिस तन में भगवान ईश्वर के वरदान को उस ईश्वर के वरदान को हर काम के आधा हाथों से अभिमान तनिक ना छुपाया वो जीवन मुक्त फरिश्ता था जैसे धरती पर आया एक दुनिया नई बनाने को ब्रह्मा ने मन में ठाने याद रखेंगे ब्रह्मा बाबा तेरे अमर कहानी वो दृश्य वो नजारा मुश्किल बहुत बोलाना बच्चे बूढ़े नर नारी सब पे प्यार बरसाना आंखों के मोतियों को अपने हृदय लगाना हाथों को फेर सर पर बड़े प्यार से उठाना बरगद के पेड़ तक वो देने विदाई जाना रुमाल का हिलाना आंखों में आंसू आना आंखों में आंसू आना वो लाल अक्षरों वाले खत हम कभी नहीं भूलेंगे यादों के हम पंख लगा के तुम्हें वतन में छू लेंगे हम कभी नहीं भूलेंगे बाबा कभी नहीं भूलेंगे बाबा कभी नहीं भूलेंगे हम तुम्हें वतन में छू लेंगे हम कभी नहीं भूलेंगे हो जब तक सूरज चांद सितारे ओ जब तक सूरज चांद सितारे सागर में है पानी हर दिल गाता रहे का बाबा तेरे अमर कहानी ओम शांति
This was a wonderful parichai of Brahma Baba. A brief parichai of his journey. For the kind of sacrifices he made. To bring forth Satyuk of the Sun of Yuk to the Confluence Age. Indeed, it is nothing short than a blessing to be a part of this family in this critical confluence age. The sustenance, the ongoing remembrance, the, the reminders, unconditional acceptance, unconditional love that Baba has bestowed and set a path even for the other souls to relate to each other with purity. It is indeed gratitude for being a part of this divine family. Let's continue the Murli dated 18th January 2006. Yesterday, we wherever we left at, we'll pick it up from there. We'll just go a couple of lines behind. Many garlands of remembrance of the children's love have reached Bab Dada. Bab Dada seen, is seeing personally in front of him those who have sent remembrance and in response to that remembrance, Baba is giving blessings from his heart and love from his heart. Acha, what shall we do now? So now, Baba is addressing different groups and he's starting with Karnataka. One of the uh, sessions of uh, journey of Murli, a very nice explanation someone gave for the word Karnataka. And Karnatak means in Hindi literally means enact, do a play, do some acting. And the acting that this, the sister was mentioning about was acting of being of service, acting of speaking good, thinking good doing good and uh, also speaking about that when uh, you have guests at your place or when you go out somewhere to meet people how you will speak very nicely you may be stressed or you may be angry or upset but when you go and meet people suddenly there is a change in your behavior and there'll be courtesy which will be coming out. And you'll say, hello, how are you? Hope everything is fine. And that's a Natak. So Karnatak means you deliberately take on in acting and acting, putting up a practice of thinking good of speaking good, of doing good. So those from Karnataka have five mega programs. Acha, many have come. 
you have had good mega programs. Baba's congratulating them for having those programs. However, how many students were created from each mega program? Have you got that result? Mega programs are good to give a message. At least you won't receive complaints. At least one task is completed well. However, after the mega programs, you do have their addresses, do you not? Whoever's address you have, continue to invite them from time to time. So when the programs are held or organized, you tend to invite and you can tend to get a lot of souls. Maybe there are old students uh, earlier Brahmin souls also who would be coming who may have not been in touch regularly who once upon a time may be in touch and may be following the divine path and somewhere may have been consumed by day-to-day -day life and also there might be newer souls who may come for the programs and these are the programs where you have a list of people, you make a note of people who come. The idea is that all those people are an opportunity to be introduced to the spiritual learning, to be a part of this family. And that's what a relentless sevadari would do, a thak sevadari would do that he, would, he or she would keep on speaking to people. So whoever's address you have, continue to invite them from time to time. Continue to serve them at your own center because it is not possible to serve zone-wise. And that is how the whole yagya has taken shape, spread over 8,500 centers across the world with having more than the last figure that I know is 10 lakh souls. That is one more than 1 million souls that you relentlessly keep on going and sharing. So you continue serving them at your own center. The souls there can come to you locally. If you're a local, then you can be available to serve them personally as well. Right now we have an online family as we have this group. But it doesn't matter. Someone is from Malaysia, someone, someone is from different parts of Karnataka or Chennai or even the US or even Maharashtra, wherever, <clears throat> or Delhi. But this has become like a center of our own where we are available for each other. It gives a personal touch. So the souls can come there, can come to you locally. Let those souls emerge. The population of Karnataka is large. It is good. You have done service and so the numbers have increased. But now create such a bouquet that they become the mic and might and become your companions in giving a message. Prepare such a group. The majority of the bigger zones have had mega programs, but Bhaktada hasn't yet received any news of which Mike has emerged to become a helper and giving the message. So who 
is a mic is someone who would stand out and relentlessly doing the service of spreading the word of spiritual learnings. Even now, many souls of the world still remain to receive the message. So whatever the population of Karnataka is, at every place, there should be a list of some kind. There should be this, should there not? So that Bab Dada can receive those names. He should get that result. Do not bring them to Madhuban. First of all, send a written report of how many have emerged and of what quality they are, whether they're abroad or in this land. land. It is good. Congratulations for having had the program. Now send such a list. Each center should send such a list. Is that all right? It is good. Now perform some wonders in Karnataka. Can every center become a self-sovereign and be free from obstacles? Is that possible? You have been given three months. However, you mustn't become free from obstacles for just three months. But obstacles should finish for all time, forever. If sanskars emerge in thoughts, then finish them there and then. Please do not get on to beating yourself up and saying, oh, I yet have this sanskar. Oh, when will I improve? Oh, I don't think so. I will be able to come in the rosary. Nothing, no drama. As soon as it emerges, surrender that sanskar in front of Baba. Have a heart to heart, heart talk with Baba. Do Nurihan with Baba and say that, yes, this has emerged, this has shown up, and I'm giving it up. So finish it there and then. Just a moment, I lost it. Yeah. They should not be put into actions or words. So Karnataka will show such a result. <clears throat> Number one, free from obstacles. Will you do this? You will have to do this. So here Baba is giving us a reminder. And this Murli is of 2006, but right now we are in 2022. So out of this experience of Karnataka, what is it that we can take on where we are today in spreading the word around? in our communities, in our circles, be it family, be it our relatives, be it people at work, maybe people who you don't know. And the way to do it is first being an embodiment of application of whatever we've learned, that is dharana. So the four pillars, kyan, Yoga, Dharna, and Seva. One, you get the Gyan, which is coming in the form of the Murlis and various learnings, maybe online. Yoga is when you sit in connection with the Supreme Father in soul consciousness. Dharna is the application of those divine virtues and values. And the Seva is to go around and to spread the word and spread divinity out of your purity. So perform some wonders in Karnataka. Can every center become a self-sovereign and be free from obstacles? Is that possible? So you've got to be free from 
obstacles and you've got to be number one free from obstacles. Baba is asking, will you do this? You will have to do this. Cooperate with one another. Help one another. And definitely do this. Because if even two to four do not become free from obstacles, how could you be given the certificate? You would then not be given the certificate that Karnata is free from obstacles, would you? This is why you have to be cooperative and give courage to one another to definitely do this. Are you ready? Baba is asking the teachers, teachers, are you ready? You will have to do this. Look, it is being shown on the TV. All the teachers from Karnataka are raising their hands. Acha, we will see. Baba is already congratulating you and we shall see further in the future. Is that all right? Those sitting at the back and those sitting at the front will have to do it. Do not allow your sanskars to emerge. Transform them in your thoughts. Underline this. Do not allow your sanskars to emerge. Transform them in your thoughts. That's where you have the power. It is good, however many they are, that man can do a lot. It is good that you have taken the golden chance of service. So in a few days, you have accumulated a lot of charity. To serve the yagya means to accumulate in your account of charity. So, you have come having maintained good courage. And in the future too, continue to maintain courage and move forward. Now Baba is addressing the medical wing. Have you created a new plan? Throughout the year, we will have programs of how to increase values in healthcare. You have made plans. You now have to do it in a practical form. The message can reach them through this too, can it not? You have good courage. All of you who, haven't, who have come, haven't just had meetings, you also definitely have to do it practically. And you people have double benefit. You receive double blessings. You receive blessings from their body getting well. And you also receive blessings for their mind becoming happy. That's how you get a double benefit. All of you have enthusiasm. That's very good. In the medical wing, the topic of the heart is moving along very well too. The report from the Bombay Hospital is good. VIPs automatically come by themselves because previously they thought that the Brahma Kumaris do not do social work. Whereas they now think that the work that the Brahma Kumaris do brings a very good result. To the VIPs, especially at the Bombay Hospital, uh, they got a very good opportunity to be served and to get the parichai of the Brahmin family and the kind of work that we do at Brahma Kumaris. There has been a, this difference in the atmosphere since the global hospital opened in Mount Abu. Even those in Abu are changing. So it is good. Even if your department is doing the physical work of giving medicine, this service is spreading and people feel that the Brahma Kumaris can do double work. So you're doing good work. Continue to do it. In every corner, 
through the medical wing continue to bring happiness to everyone's mind and ignite the lamps of hope. It is good. Baba's congratulating everyone. There's one experience which I've got of a brother, Shiv. I believe his name is Shiv. I, I don't remember the full name, but uh, his videos are viral on YouTube as well. And he's been there since years. He's been serving the global at the global hospital in Mount Abu. And as you enter the hospital, he will meet you at the gate and there'll be groups of people he will be addressing. And he will be giving you the knowledge of how you should eat, what you should eat, what you should not eat, uh, not consuming the five whites, that is the salt, milk, etc. And along with that, he would also explain about the spiritual bit. So that brother is a living example of doing the double service. It's very inspiring. Uh, his videos are there online and he's quite well known. So Baba's now addressing the education wing. You have created a good method. You get a chance to meet and you also have a conference. It is good. Bab Dada heard the news that you are gradually being given chances in the educational field and you continue to do that. Now get some very good evidence, that is, get some proof. Wherever you serve, take a very good and clear example from there so that when people in other countries see that result, they will continue to move it further forward. Education and medicine are both essential. Bab Dada has said that every wing is doing good. Every wing is doing good service in their wing. You are maintaining courage. You're also being cooperative. However, now make it a little faster because time is coming close. As you know, we are towards the end of the end. Confluence age and that also the end of the confluence age. So time is coming close. Each wing has its own speciality. Now, at least, there is no longer the complaint that you haven't given the message to their profession. The expansion will now continue. So the burden of education on the government will reduce. If the youth group becomes good, the government will say that you have become their companions. You're doing well. Congratulations. Move it further for forward. Acha, those who have come for the first time, stand up. Baba is addressing those who have visited the gathering for the first time. It has been seen that in every meeting, the majority are new ones. So you have increased service, have you not? Only if the majority are new ones, will that be an indication that the service is getting done good? You have given the message to this many just as you have received the message in the same way, you must also give the message to double the number. So we don't have to add, we've got to multiply. Make them worthy. It is good. In every subject, continue to move forward with a lot more zeal and enthusiasm. It is good. Acha. Now keep the aim that while walking and moving around, you mustn't stop serving through your mind, your words, or your actions. 
I'll repeat this. Keep the aim. And let that be the practice today, the homework today. That as you walk and move around, as you interact with people, as you get doing your social chores and taking care of your day-to-day -day responsibilities, make sure that you're serving through your mind, your words, and your actions. How different can you stand out? And you mustn't even stop having remembrance. So that has to keep on being there in the background. Remembrance and service are always together. Whatever your mindset is, in accordance, in accordance to that shall be your behavior. So in the mindset, keep the remembrance of Baba. Keep yourself so busy in both remembrance and service that there is no chance for Maya to come. Because when you remain free is when Maya gets a chance to come. So remain so busy that Maya doesn't have the courage to come to you even from a distance then you will easily be able to fulfill the aim that you have kept of becoming equal to the Father. You won't have to labor. You will remain an embodiment of love. Acha, today, love has brought you flying here to the people who have flown down. I was addressing them. How fast is the plane of love? You have come here flying with love. Continue to fly with love and make, also make others fly. Continue to fly with love and also make others fly. Bab Dada is seeing the children from everywhere and how everyone has 100% zeal and enthusiasm in their heart that they will definitely do it. It is not a big thing. It has to happen. However, keep the zeal and enthusiasm of this time and also keep the determined thoughts always with you. No hard work here. Remembrance of our Supreme Father in the background, whatever you're doing, doing it as a service, Whatever you do, you're doing it with zeal and enthusiasm. And that also with determination. Even in challenging situations, have your head high, chest high, and a calm look on your face and see the difference. To the children who are the light of the eyes, merged in Bab Dada's eyes, to the elevated souls who have a right to all the Father's property, to all the Mahavir and Mahavirni children who constantly fly with the wings of zeal and enthusiasm and who make others fly to the children who are absorbed in love with the deep love that the one father is their whole world. Remain absorbed in love, that is, easily become equal to the father. So, multi, multi, million fold love and remembrance and namaste to the children who are both lovely and who remain absorbed in love, who are lovely. And from us, Brahmin children, multi, multi million fold love, remembrance, and namaste to our sweet Babdada.
Thank you, Baba. Those who made the flower arrangements, Baba's calling them in the front. Baba's acknowledging them. Now addressing to Dadiji. Seeing your courage, even Bab Dada is pleased. The body is finishing the karmic accounts of the body and you are flying with courage. So Baba is asking, Dadi, are you all right? And then addressing to the Dadis, all of you are also instruments to give a lot of courage to others. And seeing all of you, everyone has the enthusiasm that they too can do it. So you have become good instruments. Baba is addressing to Mohini Ben that you are an instrument, are you not? And then telling to Ishudadi, you are number one in fulfilling the responsibility of your company. And then Munni Ben, you have as much love for the Yagya as you have for the father. You're looking after everything very well. The Yagya is overflowing and it will remain, always remain overflowing. Acha, now to Nirmala Shanta Dadi. Those from Calcutta brought beautiful flowers to decorate everywhere. You are a master of the Gaddi, are you not? Gaddi means the seat. You are good. You're moving along as a master of the body. You have learned how to handle your body. Your face is doing service. That's good. Your group is also good. They have enthusiasm for service. They have a big heart. This becomes the beauty of the yagya. The vibrations spread when someone does something with their heart. There are vibrations even from the flowers. Everyone has vibrations of zeal and enthusiasm. So you do this very well. And Bab Dada sees that every year you do it the best of all. You do it with enthusiasm. Therefore, congratulations. You also do it in remembrance. You receive the response. Did you not? You sent remembrance, did you not? Many have sent remembrance. Whoever you meet says, give my remembrance. They continue to say to the messenger, give a remembrance. Whoever send their remembrance, Bab Dada is giving personal remembrance by name in response. You're good and you will, all, you will remain good and you will continue to make the best of all. If you see a couple of things over here that Baba said, one, if you th see throughout the Murli, for everything Baba is appreciated, nowhere has he highlighted the other side or the darker side of anyone. And that is the lesson to be learned, a practice to be inculcated uh, and uh, to be, that's a service that you would do, that appreciate the good in people. Highlight it. How Baba says, Meethe Bache. Even though we know how we are, but Baba always calls us Meethe Bache. So always appreciate and bring out the good in everyone. And the second thing that Baba said about the flowers that you that when you do something with a good intention, a pure intention, with an intention of contribution, of being of service, the vibrations do travel. So check and always ensure when you're doing something or you're saying something that it's coming from a pure space. And be the instrument 
that will have those kind of vibrations travel across to the other souls. So all of those who are sitting are giving their remembrance and they're all receiving remembrance. Uncle and auntie from America have also sent the remembrance. Today, Bap Dada received love and remembrance from every child, from every city. There isn't a single country that hasn't sent the love and remembrance. Acha, Om Shanti. That completes this murli. Let's take a couple of moments to reflect on what Baba said today. And then we'll open up to share your experiences. Om Shanti. Yes, sisters and brothers. Om Shanti. Good morning, Bhaiji. Good morning, angels. Am I audible? Yes, I know where you are. Okay. Nice to be back in the group. Uh, my takeaway point is, uh, Baba talked a lot about uh, to tackle the youth. It's very important because they are the main people we have to look into. So uh, that's what we are also doing that now here, trying to get reach out to them, even those who have left and those who have come, really ensure to protect and take good care of them. And uh, Baba talked about overcoming obstacles. I feel... Of, because although Baba says obstacles are temporary, how to overcome them? I was just thinking about that. Importantly, we have to speak to Baba from the heart, write to Baba, understand that it is our karmic accounts we are settling and it is the time of settlement now. And also have the strength, zeal and enthusiasm. Who is my companion? God is with me. No matter what happened, Bab Dada will protect us and take care of us. And these storms will never last. It's sometimes Baba says it's like a paper tiger. And like what Baba says, it is love, God's love, which brought us together. And as you mentioned, wherever in whichever part of the world we are together, we are here now. And we really feel we are a very close knitted family. We are welcome. The warmth is there and we enjoy the closeness. So whatever happens, only we children have a right to Baba's property. I, until the end, Baba will be with us. That's what my takeaway point, Baiji. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Very nice takeaways, Renu Ben. Thank you for sharing. The, I just want to add in one more. Baba's celebration everywhere is taking place. Wonderful celebration recently we saw. And Malaysia is also celebrating its 40th, it's 40th anniversary. Day. I will send a promo video to Raki Ben. Maybe if you all are free, you all can join. Thank you, Indian. Thank you. Om Shanti. Yes, sister. Uh, today, Baba has given us a homework to. Uh, so to continue to serve while moving and walking and moving around, 
and through your words actions and thoughts so we have to see how uh, differently we stand out from other people so baba said that if you whatever do whatever you do from the heart the vibrations automatically spread so now it is its responsibility it is our responsibility to make the pra baba pratyaksh through us through our vibrations and through our faces also om shanti yes you right baba navin and uh, you know i'm i'm a trainer in lokik life so one of the things that uh, we have been taught and which we uh, impart is what we call as walk the talk means be a live demonstration of all the learnings that you have had and imagine how it would be when everything chalte firte everything that you are thinking doing or speaking is coming from that divine space i mean like it said boon boon se banta hai sagar with every small drop uh it might not be immediately visible or you might not tangibly able to see it but continuous practice over a period of time you will see and more than you the people around you will see the difference where you are and then they'll come and speak to you that how are you managing this how are you doing this we want to be like this so yes uh, very valuable takeaway that you shared bhavna ma'am thank you Om Shanti, brother. Yes, Om Shanti. Baba is saying about being determined, and he also tells that time is less. So, and looking at the obstacles, Baba says also is giving a blessing that be obstacle free. So, all these three points are making sense to me that by being determined, having a clarity of thoughts, and receiving the blessings from baba of being obstacle free we can cut short the time that we have in doing whatever purusharth we have to do so that is what i have to reflect more upon brother thank you shanti yes vinod bhai like, like baba said time is less and uh, we all can witness what's happening around the depletion of the quality of people's Uh, souls the way they uh, they the way they relate the way they think with each passing day you're seeing that uh, there is more and more impact of maya on them and uh, like we are having the spiritual sustenance and then also we might at times get a bit displaced so imagine those souls they don't have that kind of sustenance and uh, our practices ongoing awareness is not only going to help us to be saved from that circle or getting sucked into that but it will also be an opportunity to make a difference where they are thank you vinod bhai for sharing om shanti like yes, yeah like baba said karnatak and the way baba made you instrument to give that impact of that uh, urja in words like uh, we have to now it's high time we have to really karnatak enact the the best of the uh, acting of the divine intellect and uh, Our man, buddhi, sanskaras have to be those golden aged ones, and all the time we have to be in that intoxication of doing the best, thinking the best, speaking the best, feeling the best, and circulating the best of the best energies. So Karnataka, it was the first time I went through those wonderful vibrations. How much positive energies, uh, you know, giving those words and. Uh, energized i felt totally energized and wonderfully felt so that's a, a intoxication i'm taking away om shanti 
Tanjuven. You were not there, I guess, yesterday. But uh, uh, yesterday, Baba did mention about the. the yeah, I'm songs, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So you were asking yeah. Baba that how will we look in Satyu? In Satyu. Yeah. So uh, in Satyu, how will we look? And uh, Baba's talking about the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, I missed Am that. I but, to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I missed that, but I felt totally uh, all the you know energies when you read it out. It was so beautifully experienced. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Baba's talking about the mirror. So when how we want to be in Satyug is how we start. You, you, you got to start being like that from now. And that is going to be a reflection of the way you're going to be in Satyuk. Sapurvaben, Tivaben, Madhuben. Sandhyaben is quiet today. No, brother, I was just thinking about the point. <laughs> It was just working out. I didn't know whether to ask okay. it or not because I just had a <coughs> discussion about it yesterday. So when when you read it, that uh, when you told that, see how Baba is appreciating everything, even the flowers um, and everything. So I was just thinking, even I have the habit of appreciating each and everything, all the divine qualities in everyone. So. Uh, actually, it's a total opposite in my um, <clears throat> in my mother's house and mother-in-law's house. Okay, there each and everything is appreciated. Here, uh, when I came here, I was just stunned, you know, because appreciating means the adequate has when I appreciate something, uh, uh, the food or anything. I think then they used to say, I think is a if I appreciate something else, it would be like that. And if I appreciate someone, I think she's because she wants to attract the whole, uh, everyone. That is what. So I was a bit confused whether we should appreciate it or not. Or, look, um, <clears throat> it's our duty. Anyway, we don't have any other intentions. We just have the divine qualities. I say, soch kar chup rahe. Because just yesterday I had this <laughs> discussion. They were telling, yeah. she keeps on appreciating everything. That is how she attracts the, everyone. But that is not actually, wo to heart se aata hai. appreciate karna. That is our nature, you know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think I need to tell it to the world, right? That is why I just thought and kept right. <laughs> Yeah, there is a song uh, in uh, which was sung by Kishore Kumar, and the song goes like "Kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kena. So oh, yeah, yeah. So whatever you do, people are anyways going to talk. If you are clear about why you are doing what you are doing, you don't really need to bother. If you are doing something, then that is your sanskar. And if people are, if they're speaking good about it, then that is their sanskar. And if you're pe they're speaking otherwise, that also is their sanskar. So that should not define you of what you should do. As far as you know that it's coming from your intention and your instinct believes in doing it, you can do it. Yeah, now Isn't after it? coming to this university, we have become very strong. But the moment yeah. when you when you when we when I got married and when I went and my, told my mother-in-law, Ma, oh, it's so yummy, it's very good food. I mean, you appreciate then. The, I mean, I mean, it's not a blame. Like I, I she told, "Tumare ghar mein aise khana nahi banate honge, hai na?" My God, it was so shocking. <laughs> so, but anyway, after coming to this university, everything is we have become very. Uh, nobody can shake us. 
if you come from soul consciousness no uh, sandhya when I mean, you'll get to see that people are not used to also accepting appreciation they don't know what to do with goodness so that is something that we can empathize with that they really don't know they feel that if someone is appreciating them means they are uh, they immediately get on a back foot because they might have had earlier experiences where someone has appreciated and taking benefit out of them so that is how they are worried they they, they don't want they are not okay with appreciation so but yes uh, when when it comes from uh, a soul conscious space it does land it people do get it they may take time but it's okay baba keeps on saying meethe bachche how many times how many people must be saying ye kya baba pura time meethe bachche meethe bachche bachche bolte rehte hain but baba keeps on telling so you keep doing your bit yes apurva yeah. ben <laughs> sorry uh so just to add what uh, you were saying i would like to share an experience so uh in terms of appreciation and the point which uh, you just mentioned that some souls find it difficult to take and they have had some past experiences so it just took, it took me to um one of my friend and uh, uh, we weren't friends before and uh, uh the point about appreciation and when i genuinely appreciate it uh i found that if it is backed by true vibrations and pure vibrations even if the earlier experiences were in good and you were taken advantage of because of your position or anything it can uh, definitely bring about a change and and now it is uh, even as you know, my friend says that uh, i'm always on a lookout for sharks in the mentality or uh, the doubt or anything of that sort it has reduced drastically so the more we are uh, i would say perform action in remembrance and to uh, have purity it can definitely make a difference and uh, uh, the take away point for me is finishing the sanskars then the thought level itself it's something which uh, i've been practicing for a long time it's not that i don't fall down but the more and more i'm practicing it's making a huge difference and last point which i would like to share is uh, the point which was discussed is chalte firte we just have to be an embodiment and that is of great seva because and there are times where we encounter many souls who have maybe doubts or uh, they have questions and they have some prejudices against brahma kumaris or uh, anything of any dharna but i feel if we are strong and firm and we have the level of acceptance and purity again we can definitely bring about a change and i have seen that and then they come and they say that you're fortunate to be a part and then the advocate so that's something it's of huge service yeah that's it. thank you when we are out to spread the the word of the spiritual learnings that we are getting people don't have that much of uh, acceptance why because they are so much used to uh, certain vices and uh, anything that is a vice it will not take time to make it a habit but if anything is pure it will always take time because that's where we are in the kalpa right now that the soul battery is so discharged everywhere around that goodness cannot be appreciated they don't have that kind of uh ek jo hazma bolte hai na the the digestion to have goodness come to you even in uh, if you see physically uh, people who are saying staying in the cities if they say pure ghee if they have pure ghee they'll not be able to digest why because it's too pure the problem is not with the ghee being pure the system has become weak so uh, yes but we got to keep on doing our bit and that also by being an embodiment like you rightly said 
Thank you, sister. Yes, uh, Inder Bhai, you uh, want to say something? Yeah, I want to add something. Yeah. Like I just joined a couple of months back. Yes. Okay? So I don't have the, too much authority or anything that I can say, but my viewpoint will be, you know, if not most of you, but all of you probably have joined or part of the group for a long time. You know, I'm talking about the B case. So if we look at ourselves, rather than looking at the others, we look at ourselves before we join BK, we got the knowledge, we got the gyan. So we know now how to handle some of these situations and how to manage and always bless those people, whether they're saying good or bad. So if we remember that all the time, I think that life will probably become more easier. Uh, this is just my perception, you know, you know, being in the US, but if I keep on thinking that, oh, other people don't know anything, I know mm. more mm. because I joined, I have the gyan now, <laughs> but that's becoming ego because that's, that's ego then to me. Okay, that's what I think. So we should always think about saying, yes, we, we know a little bit now, but we know how to manage better. Yeah. We know how to deal with this better. And then, then we will say, okay, yeah, I did that before. Yeah, I did that before, but now I know not to do that again. So this is just my takeaway a little bit out of this. You know, maybe, like I said, I'm not uh, at liberty to say, or, you know, guide anybody on this thing. But what I have learned so far, this is just my experience for myself because I used to be one of them too, you know, but where I'll criticize somebody or do something in the office or whatever. But now, yes, I'm not working anymore, but at the same time, uh, my patience level has increased tenfold yeah. compared to before. So that's, that's how I, I feel, you know, I, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but that's uh, my, you know, point on this discussion is. That's a very, very valuable perception that you've shared in Darbai. And uh, you're here at the right time. When you've joined in a couple of months ago, this is the time you were meant to be and you are there. And what you rightly said, that I know it all becomes ego. So the best way to do it is, yes, reflect, introspect, look within yourself rather than looking outside and always keep on saying, I'm practicing and I'm learning. So that will have us have the humility to keep on performing without having body consciousness. Yep. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Wonderful. Ami Ben, can we do a short meditation at 6.33? Yes. Take a breathe, deep breath, and relax. Calm your nerves, calm your senses. Have a light lingering smile on your face. As we move ahead in the confluence age, with sustenance of our Supreme Father and the company of the Divine Brahman family. It is time we make service, seva, a way of a lifestyle. While look, walking and moving around, keep serving every moment through your mind, your words, and your actions and see how successfully you can keep Maya 
away from you. Keep a check on your karmic accounts. One. Keep finishing your old accounts gracefully. And two. Ensure that you're not creating new ones. Each moment of us Brahmin souls must pass in gratitude of we being the chosen ones to be a part of this Brahmin family. Where we have daily learnings of purity and that too with unconditional acceptance and that too with a lot of love. Let's spread the goodness that we've got from here and be instrumental in creating Satyog. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Divine Family. Thank you, Drama. Om Shanti. Thank you, everyone. See you all tomorrow morning at 5.30. Om Shanti. Thank you, Om Shanti. Bhai, for a brilliant Om. session. Thank you, Divine Family. Om, Om Shanti. Shanti.